Okay, so we're here talking about uh, pipe flow for CA302, and I'm making uh, some videos here for you to watch for Monday's class to replace the lecture since I will be out of town. And I thought I would just start by kind of summarizing where we were at again with the Moody chart. So remember that uh, we talked about how there's all these different kinds of flow scenarios. So we have laminar flow. And then we have turbulent flow, okay? And so in the Moody chart, we have the Reynolds number on the x-axis. Low Reynolds number is laminar flow. High Reynolds number is turbulent. And in between, we have this critical zone where it transitions. And so the low values here are laminar. And remember, the friction factor in that situation is 64 over the Reynolds number. And it's, so it's a straight line here on this log-log graph. And the friction factors are here on the left side. So again, we to use the Moody chart, we read where the Reynolds number is. And then we need to find the relative roughness. So the friction factor is a dimensionless number. And it's a function of two other dimensionless numbers. So this is a, an example of how we use dimensional analysis. So we find the relative roughness one dimensional number here, one of these dark lines. And we may have to kind of draw one in if we're in between. Like between these two would be 0.05. And then we follow that over to where we're at the Reynolds number here on the x-axis. And then we read the friction factor from the left side. So that's how we use this. And so again, laminar flow is here on the left side. And then turbulent past this critical zone. And so for, for turbulent, then there's three different possibilities. We have the rough pipe complete turbulence where these lines are all flat. And that's to the right of the dashed line. OK, you can see how they all flatten out once you're on this once you reach the dashed line, maybe a little bit to the left of it even. And then, so that's where um, the boundary layer is small compared with the roughness height of the material on the edge of the pipe. And then we have the other extreme is the smooth pipe. So we're still talking about turbulent flow where the boundary layer is the key thing, but that boundary layer then is um, a lot bigger than the roughness height. And that's this line here where they all kind of collapse towards the this smooth pipe line here on the edge of the Moody chart. Okay, they all start to look like a smooth pipe once you get to low enough Reynolds number. <clears throat> and then in between we have uh, the region where both the roughness height and the boundary layer thickness are important. Okay, that's in between. So there's a different equation for the different cases. The Moody chart puts all that together and so you need to learn how to use it. Okay, so that's the Moody chart. Um, and again, those are for the different kinds, and that talked about how to use it. And so then we talked about in doing pipe flow problems, in turbulent flow in particular, it's tricky because we have to uh, know the Reynolds number and the relative roughness in order to get the friction factor. And so there's really five, uh, I, I, would, I would say there's about five variables that we could solve for. And the first one is the properties of a fluid given the other four. So there's five variables, fluid properties, the pipe properties, the pressure, the flow rate, and the diameter. Okay. Uh, the first two are things we typically look up. So you're rarely solving for these two. They're usually given. The other three then are the things that you often are solving for in engineering applications. So we want to know how much pressure or head loss is going to be given a certain flow rate and pipe. And then we may also want to know how much flow can we get if we know the head loss in a situation and the pipe, how much flow do we get? And then we may also need to compute what diameter is required to get the flow given how much head we have available. So these are the three different kinds of problems. And so then last time I, in class, I talked about how to calculate the head loss. And then we went through and did the flow rate. And then the next video I'll, I'll do is on how to solve for the pipe diameter. And this one is the hardest because the pipe diameter is a variable for the relative roughness and for the Reynolds number. So when you don't know either one of those things, it makes it more difficult to figure out what the friction factor is, but you can do it. Okay, so that'll be the first video. And then we'll talk about how to use a computer to do these. And then we will talk about an alternative to the darcy weisbach equation and friction factor approach uh, in the last video. And so uh, in this class, we, we're going to emphasize the Darcy Weisbach approach with the dimensional analysis like we did here. There are some other equations that are easier to use. And um, 
you may see those in engineering practice so you should be familiar with them but but in here you need to use this equation unless you're specifically told to use one of those other ones okay